crew calendar has been developed to complement the crew timeline panel and to eventually replace the old crew duties page. This feature is predominantly used by business operators to build and view crew duty rosters in calendar-like way. Several features are still being developed, however, in its current form it is ready to be used by the crew planning department. Just like in the crew timeline panel, the roster in calendar view allows to build rosters in a draft form, provided the manual publish is set in the general settings view. Please note that switching from auto to manual publish takes up to 24 hours to activate. To build an effective roster, you will need to have all the duties defined in the settings duties setup page. Once this is done, you can start building the roster. Each crew planner has a different method of creating rosters. You can start by selecting in the filter the crew position types you want to display, such as cockpit crew rated on particular aircraft types, for example. In the filter, you can further select to show crew by the assigned labels, AOC, or select individual crew members. If the crew is already selected, in the top bar we can also choose the time range, switch the toggle if you wish to work in drafts, and display the crew duty request submitted via mobile application. Once we have all set up, we can start assigning duties. This is done exactly like in Crew Timeline or the old Crew Duties page. Select a given day or by holding the Shift key select a range of days. Right click and from the context menu select the duty you wish to assign. The Add Duties pop-up window allows to edit the duty time, assign additional crew members to the same duty, create patterns where in a selected period of time on particular days the duty should be assigned and finally we can also add nodes. From the context menu you can perform several actions. You can see crew activity details, that is details of assigned duties on a given day. After the sim training is completed, you can add a simulated session with data necessary to update crew currency. For the currency to get updated correctly, make sure you add the number of landings and who was the pilot flying. You can also add crew positioning to the system from one base to another, which is then marked by the bus icon. Finally, you can see duty changes history on a given day. If you have defined duties on aircraft in the settings, adding such duty in crew calendar will trigger the available flights to appear in the pop-up window. Here you can decide to select more crew to be assigned to the selected flights and assign them on particular positions. In the end, when you are happy with the roster you have created, you can publish the changes so that they become visible to the crew. In the publishing window, just like in crew timeline page, you can select the time range and the crew for which you want to publish the roster. There are several functionalities still being developed in Crew Calendar. In the near future, you can expect to see new features such as showing FTL details, just like it is now in Crew Timeline, possibility to copy and paste series of different duties from one crew to another, counting cumulative days on and off from a particular day, and finally sending notifications to crew members about published rosters. I hope you have enjoyed this short tutorial. Until next one, bye for now.